from a data set, how can we adapt values per weeks, per months, per years? And also, how can we combine multiple criteria such as the months and the year? How can we summarize the data using different criteria like the ones that we're going to see here? So as I want to add up values, make an addition in Excel, I can use the equal sign sum if function. Or if you have more than just one criterion, you can use some ifs to add up values with multiple conditions. Some ifs, okay? This is the function that we're going to use. So let's first start here uh, creating an addition per weeks. So as you can see, I have a lot of different dates in my sales report. But it doesn't matter if it's a sales report or not, or if it's something different, because it's going to work in the same way. So as you can see, I have as the informations, the date, item, quantity, total, and the order ID. Let's say the first week of the year, it starts in January 1st of 2024. So I want you, this is my threshold. This is my start point. I want you to start adding up values from this date, and I want you to go up to the day January 7th here. So all those first week, this first week, I want you to add up the values that I have in the total, like those ones right here. And then I want you to do it again and again and again for all the different weeks that I have. The first week that I have is January 1st of 2024, okay? Enter. And now, of course, it can uh, change, depends on the, the data that you have. But I, I want you to stick with January 1st of 2024. And then I know that uh, the second week is going to be equal sign the previous day, date, add to seven, like this. Enter. So this is the start date. This is the, the threshold for the next week. Now let me click in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down like this, because that way I can make sure I have a couple of different rows with the same formula ended up in seven days uh, using the previous date. Now that we did input here the weeks that we need to use uh, as the criteria of our addition, we can move on and use the equal sign the sum ifs function itself. Double click here in this function, one, two. And uh, the first argument that I have is the sum range. Sum range. I want to add up the values that I have in the total column. And I can either select a small range like this or click over the letter D to select everything that I have. And then I go to uh, press here, input comma, to move to the second argument. And I have a criteria range, the first criteria range. My first criteria range can be the date, like this. And again, click in the, in the, in the letter A to select literally the entire column, comma, and as my first criteria, I can use my start point, that is this date that I have here, but how can I tell itself um, to start adding up values or summarize the data using as the start point that this data that I have here to the left, I can use in some logical operators, and I'm going to start here with the open quotations, and then greater than equal to close quotations. So as you can see, I'm using two logical operators, greater than or equal to, and uh, everything in between quotations. Then I'm gonna append the date, but to append the date with the logical operator, I need to use the upper send, upper send like this, okay? Then I can select here the date that I have to the left. Okay, now if I just use this single criteria and press enter, Excel is gonna add up all the values that are greater than or equal to my date that I selected before. But uh, as I want to have a, a threshold, a start point and an end point, I also need to set this limit, this end point. And my end point is going to be something one day before the next row. Okay, so comma, my second criteria range is going to be again the same range because I'm talking about dates. So let me select again the entire column A and then comma, my second criteria now is going to be the end point. And to use the end point, again, we're going to do the same logic as before. The logical operator and then append the cell. So open quotations and then I want to add up everything that is less than, less than, and then close quotations, upper send to append the data that I have here. And why I'm using only one logical operator that is less than, and I'm not using, for example, less than or equal to. Because if I append or input the equal to in this logical operator here, I'm telling Excel that I also want to add up the values that corresponding to January 8th. But uh, this is not true because I want to go 
from January 1st up to January 7th. I don't want you to consider January the day 8. Okay, so this is why I'm just using less than. Close parentheses and then enter. As you can see, now I have the total or the addition of all the values of the first week. And I can also, in the bottom right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down to make sure we can input all the formulas for all the different rows that we have. Okay, like this, and we're done. And uh, of course, if you want to continue to add rows here, you just need to select the last two in the bottom right corner, click, hold, and drag down like this. Okay, so that way we can continue to add rows. Now let's move on to the second example where we need to add up values or summarize the data by the months or per months. As you can see here, uh, we need to use in the summary function as the criteria, January and then February, March, April, and on and on. We need to use as criteria the name of the months. But uh, if you check in my data set, there's no information that is equal to the, the months names. So how can I use the months as the criteria? In this particular scenario, we're going to need to use a helper column to extract only the months from the date that we have to the left. So if I take here the column F, for example, this can be my helper column. And I can, of course, input here as the name of the column L, F, maybe the months, enter. And uh, within this column, I want to use the equal sign, the text function. I want you to select because the text function can extract from the date, the months, and also the years. So, but uh, let's start here with the months. The value that I want to use is the date that I have to the left, comma. And as the format of the text, I want to use open quotations and then MMM, three times the letter M. Close quotations, close parentheses, and then enter. Okay, so as you can see, I got here Jan as result or January. Uh, because January is the corresponding month from the date that I have to the left in the same row. And if I go to the cell, click, hold, and drag down, or double click in the bottom right corner, one, two, I can make sure I have all this formula for all the different rows. May, June, July, August, and on and on. Okay, so now that we have this helper column, we can use the sum if function again to add up or to summarize the data based on the months. Equal sign sum if. This time we don't need to use the sum ifs, the second option with the s in the suffix, because uh, there is only one criteria that is the month. So I'm going to stick with the first formula, but it doesn't matter if you want to use the second one, it's going to work in the same way. One, two. The range that I want to use, it can be uh, the range that Excel is talking about here is the criteria range, okay? So the criteria range that I want to use is the months because it's in the column F that I'm going to check if there is or not the January month, for example. So I'm using here January, uh, the, the months as the criteria, the first one. Trauma. And now as the criteria itself, I want to check if there is something here in this range that is equal to the January that I have here to the left. Drama. And as my sum range, I want to use the column D, like this. Okay, now I can press enter. And as you can see, this is the total of uh, sales that I have in January. If I click in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold, and drag down, I'm done. This is the, this is the sum summarized values for all the months that we have. But maybe I have a problem here. Because let's say I take here January as example. This is the total that I have, $70,000 roughly, okay? Uh, but uh, here in this addition, I have the year 2024 and also the year of 2025. So maybe it's a good idea to also use the years as the criteria because I, I think it's not that properly done when we use just the months because we are messing up things here because I have 2024 and 2025. Uh, if you check here, let's say 2024. But if I scroll down my spreadsheet, as you can see, I also have 2025 as the year. So let's move on and uh, see how can we use the years. And then we're going to combine those multiple criteria, the year with the months. But uh, let's just stick with here now for with the years. And uh, as I said before, if I want to use the years as the criteria, I'm going to need to have the years in my data set. Are you seeing the years in my data set? No, because there is no years here. Of course, there is the years within the date, but it's not going to work. I need to basically extract the year to the side, for example, extract off to the side. So I'm going to use the column G to help me as a helper column. And uh, years, this is what I'm going to have here. 
equals sign in again. Text function. Once you as the value, I want you to use the date, comma, the format, open quotations, and then y, 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 three times the letter y. Close quotations, close parentheses, enter, and we're done. Double click in the bottom right corner of the cell, one, two, and uh, that's it. Now we can use the column D as the criteria. So let's go here, equal sign, sum if. And as I said before, here again, we're going to have only one criterion, that is the ears. So we can use, of course, the first function, sum if. But I, just to make things a little different here, I'm going to use the second option, sum ifs. Double click, one, two. The sum range is going to be the uh, column D, where I have the totals. Choma. My criteria range is going to be the ears. Choma. And my criteria itself is going to be the year of 2024. Close parentheses, enter. Okay. Let me bring it down. Click, hold, and drag like this. And yeah, we're done. Now, the interesting thing here is, and if I change, instead of using the 2025, I want to use 2026. Enter. The result is equal to zero. This indicates to me that uh, there is no data equal to 2026. So let's go back to 2025. Okay. Now, if uh, we move on here to the last example that we have, how can uh, we append the months with the years? If you pay attention in this first example here that we did with the weeks, it's basically going to uh, have something similar because we need to use multiple criteria, the two different criteria arguments, equal sign, sum, ifs function, one, two, to select. As the sum range, I want to use the column D, comma, as the first criteria range, I can either select the months or the years. You choose. So let's stick with the months. And then, comma, and as we did select the months, as the range we need here in the first criteria, I also select the months to match, okay, to match the range with the criteria. And then comma. Now as the second criteria range, I'm going to stick with the years, like this. Comma. And my criteria, the second one is going to be the year that I have here to at the top. But it's very important to lock this reference that we have in the year. Because as we could tell, Excel, whenever we click, hold, and drag down a function, Excel moved out all the references that we have, like this. I don't want to the ear, the reference that I have, remove a DAO because that way it's going to mess up my formula. So it's very important in, the, in this reference that we have of the ear to, to freeze this reference in the, in the place. I select the reference and then I go to hit the F4 key to input the dollar sign before the column and also before the row. Now I can press enter and we're done. Let me move this function down like this. And uh, if I change the ear, maybe 2025, enter. As we can see, we have an automatically update in this calculation that we did. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to add up values in Excel using multiple different criteria, weeks, months, years, and years with the months. If you have any questions or any requests, let me know, comment down below because every day has a new video. So I see you there.